I've found the easiest side hustle that's proven to earn you over $5,000 per month just by selling blank books on Amazon. The best part is anyone can do this from anywhere in the world with zero experience needed. You'll be partnering with Amazon, which means they'll take care of all the hard work for you. The printing, marketing, shipping, and everything in between. Your only job is a bit of product research and simple book creation. And don't worry, I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step, revealing the exact blueprint I use to make this work. By the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to set up your own highly profitable book business and start generating passive income effortlessly. So let's dive right into step one. The strategy behind this side hustle is simple. We're going to create low content digital books like journals, planners, notebooks, or sketchbooks. The beauty of this business is that there's always a strong demand for these types of books on Amazon. And what I love most is how incredibly easy they are to create. With just a few minutes of work, you can design your book using a user-friendly tool like BookBolt. Once your design is ready, you'll upload it to Amazon. When someone buys your book, Amazon takes care of everything from printing to shipping it to the customer. Each sale earns you royalties, and the more books you create, the more you can earn. Now that you understand the strategy, let's move on to the next step. Now that you have the basic idea, let's dive into finding some best-selling low-content books on Amazon. This will help us decide what kind of book to create. It's one of the most important steps because I don't want you to waste your time trying to sell something that nobody wants. To avoid that, let's focus on what's already working. First, we'll need to create a BookBolt account. It's an essential tool for researching and creating these low-content books. You can sign up using the link in my description and don't forget to use the code LANEY at checkout to get a 20% discount. All right, once you've signed up, the first thing we'll do is head over to the Cloud tab. This feature lets us do some research to see what books are selling well and what customers are really looking for. First, I'll select the top 500 bestsellers from the list. Then, in the Category section, I'll narrow it down by choosing a specific category. I'll go with journals for this example. This will give us a clear view of the best-selling journals on Amazon right now. Our goal here is simple. Find a book that's in high demand but faces low competition. For instance, I came across a gratitude journal priced at $7 with an estimated 415 sales per month. That translates to thousands of dollars in revenue every single month. When you click on the listing, it'll take you to the Amazon page where you'll notice it has 29,000 ratings, proof that people are genuinely interested in this topic and it's performing well. This shows that creating a similar book could give us a strong chance of success. Now that we have identified a potential book, let's dig deeper into the research. The next step is to uncover the right keywords that will help our book stand out. Click on the Keywords tab and hit Search. This feature will help us find high demand, low competition keywords for our low content book. Simply enter a keyword related to your book's topic. In this case, I'll type in Gratitude Journal and hit Search. BookBolt will generate a list of related keywords that people have been actively searching for in the last 30 days, complete with their search volumes and competition levels. This information is gold. It helps us understand what's trending on Amazon and how competitive the market is. The lower the competition, the better your chances are of making sales and ranking higher. Now, let me show you two ways to spot those low competition keywords. First, simply click on the competition column to sort the results by the lowest competition. For instance, 52-week gratitude journal is a low competition keyword, which means creating a book with this keyword could give us a better chance of standing out in the market and attracting more buyers. Another approach is to start with a promising keyword like 5-minute gratitude journal, which has over 18,000 searches on Amazon. Copy this keyword and paste it into the Amazon search bar. As you can see, there are only 872 results, so this indicates a low competition range. Always aim for keywords with fewer than 1,000 results to maximize your visibility and sales potential. Pay attention to Amazon's autofill suggestions too. For instance, when typing 5-minute gratitude journal, you might see 5-minute gratitude journal for women, which has only 624 results. 
an even better low competition keyword. In fact, one of the top selling journals under this keyword sold over 2,000 copies last month at $28 each, earning more than $56,000. Impressive, right? With this research in hand, we now have a clear idea of the book to create. Let's move on to the next step. Now that you've chosen your niche and identified high demand keywords, it's time to create your low content book using BookBolt. You'll see just how simple it is. First, click on research, then go to create and select BookBolt Studio. Here, use your login details to access the studio. A new window will open. Click create project. For project type, select paperback cover and interior. This format is the most cost effective option and affordable for customers. Then enter your book's name in the project name section to keep your work organized. Now let's pick the size. I recommend the 8.5 by 11 inch format. This size is ideal for low content books like journals and planners. It provides plenty of space for writing while keeping printing costs low, making it a popular option for both creators and buyers. Moving on, choose black and white interior with white paper. This choice is budget friendly, keeping production costs low while ensuring your book appeals to a wide audience. For page count, aim for 50 to 100 pages. This range provides enough space for content while keeping costs manageable. Once you've set these options, click create project. You're now ready to start designing your book. All right, let's start by cleaning up the cover page. The first step is to remove the default text. Click on the opacity icon, then select hide cover template. Now, just so you know, the right side of the screen represents the front cover of your book, while the left side shows the back cover. Remember, the cover is crucial. It's the first thing people notice, so we need to design it carefully. Since the cover is the only part we're designing, it's a straightforward process. Let's begin by adding an eye-catching image. Click on the image icon, then select Pixabay to access copyright free images. I suggest searching for a nature background. Nature often symbolizes peace and mindfulness, which fits perfectly with a gratitude journal theme. Once you find an image you like, click on it to add it to your cover page. Adjust the image by dragging the edges until it fits perfectly, making sure it covers the entire white background to create a seamless look. Next, we'll add the text for the cover. The text is important because it clearly communicates the book's purpose. Click on the text icon, then select Heading. For the first line, type 5 minute. Resize and adjust it to make it larger and you can choose a different font from the options available to match your style. Position it at the top of the front cover. Now let's add the second part of the title. Click the text icon again, choose heading and type gratitude. Drag it below the 5 minute title and make sure it's lined up perfectly. Next. Let's add the word journal. Click the text icon one more time, choose heading and type journal. To make journal stand out, choose a different font from the list and change the font. Now drag journal below gratitude and make sure it's aligned properly like this. All right, let's add a final touch to make the cover really stand out. First, lock the background image layer to keep it in place. Now, click on the Elements tab, select a line and add it to the cover. Adjust the width to make it thinner and place it next to the word Journal. Customize it to enhance the overall appeal. Next, we'll add some additional text. Click on Text, select the subtitle text and type For Women. Position it where you want for easy customization and change the font to semi-bold for emphasis. Next. Click on the A icon to adjust the letter spacing to 300. This increases the spacing between letters, giving the text a more spacious and modern look. Now, change the text color to white for contrast. And to make the text even more prominent, we'll add a rectangular shape behind it. Head back to the Elements tab and select a rectangle. Resize it to be slightly wider and shorter than the text itself. In the Layers tab, drag this rectangle underneath the For Women text. This ensures the text remains clearly visible. Align both the text and the rectangle under the journal text, adjusting as needed to achieve a balanced professional look. Take a step back and look at your completed design. By adding these thoughtful details, you've created a cover that's not only visually appealing, but also unique and engaging. Now let's move on to designing the interior of your book. Start by clicking on the first page and then select this icon to open the template options. As you can see, BookBolt offers a wide range of templates to choose from. 
To find the perfect template for our journal, simply type journal into the search bar. You'll see a variety of journal templates, but since we're creating a gratitude journal, scroll down until you find the gratitude journal template. Once you find it, click on it to add it to the current page. To apply this template across all the pages, click on Select All to highlight every page in your project. Be sure to deselect the cover page, otherwise it will overwrite your beautifully designed cover. Now click on Continue to Options. In the next section, for the Fit method, be sure to select Resize and Fit Whole Area of Paper. This ensures that your content fills the entire page properly, avoiding any awkward white spaces or misalignment. Once you've done that, click on Submit. You'll see that the Gratitude Journal template is now beautifully added to all the pages. It's incredible how simple this process is, right? With that, the journal is fully completed across all 100 pages. Now, let's download your completed book. Click on Download and choose the first CMYK option to ensure the best print quality. The download will begin instantly and it may take a few minutes. Once the download is complete, it's time to upload your book to Amazon KDP. If you don't have an Amazon KDP account yet, don't worry. In the next step, I'll guide you through the process of creating one. All right, now I'm going to show you how to create an Amazon KDP account. The first thing you need to do is head over to Google and search for Amazon KDP. Click on the first official link that appears and you'll be taken to the Amazon KDP homepage. Once you're there, look for the Join Now button and click on it to start the registration process. You'll be taken to the account creation page. Enter your full name, a valid email address, and create a password that is at least six characters long. Re-enter your password to confirm and click on Create Your KDP Account. To publish a book, you must first complete your account information. Click on Your Account and you'll be taken to fill out a registration form with your personal and contact information. Start by entering your full legal name, exactly as it appears on your official documents. Next, select your country of residence from the drop-down menu. After that, enter the postal code for your current address. You'll then need to select your state, province or region from the provided options and type in the name of your city. Next, provide the primary address line for your residence. You can leave the secondary address line blank if it's not needed. Then, enter your date of birth in the format shown on the form. And finally, provide a valid phone number for contact and verification purposes. Once all these fields are filled out correctly, click on the Save and Continue button. At this stage, you'll need to add some additional details. Begin by selecting your business type. For most people, this will be individual unless you're registering as a company. Then, you'll need to provide your banking information so that Amazon can send you payments. Make sure you have your bank details handy for this step. Lastly, fill out your tax information as required by your country of residence. When you've completed all these steps, click Save and boom! You've just created your Amazon KDP account. In the next part, I'll show you how to upload your book and start your journey as a self-published author. Now let's upload your book on Amazon KDP. Start by clicking Create and then select Create Paperback, since that's the book type we made. To rank well, your title and subtitle need to be engaging and optimized for search. For the title, keep it simple, descriptive, and packed with relevant keywords that potential buyers might search for. Since our book is a gratitude journal, we'll use the title from our cover, 5-Minute Gratitude Journal for Women. This title effectively communicates both the purpose of the book and its intended audience, making it easy for potential buyers to find. Next, for the subtitle, go back to BookBolt and find high-ranking keywords. For example, I found Gratitude Journal for Women, so I'll use that as the subtitle. Using popular and relevant keywords like this can help improve your book's visibility on Amazon. Next, fill in the author section with your name. Now let's move on to the description section. A well-optimized description is essential for visibility on Amazon. To help you with this, I've prepared a special prompt, which you can find in the video description below. First, open the prompt and customize it with your book's details. For example, in the title section, enter the title of your book, such as 5 Minutes Journal, along with the page count and any other relevant information. As you can see, I've filled out all the necessary information for my book. After you've entered all the details, copy the prompt and head over to ChatGPT. 
Paste the prompt in the input area and hit Generate. ChatGPT will then create a well-optimized and readable description for you. Finally, copy this generated description and paste it into the Amazon KDP description field. And that's it. You now have a professional SEO optimized description ready to help your book shine on Amazon. All right, next, click on I own the copyright, then select no for the additional options. For the primary marketplace, leave it as amazon.com. Next, we need to choose the right category for your book. For this, let's use BookBolt to find the best category for your book. Head over to BookBolt and click on KDP Categories. In the search tab, type in your book title. For example, Gratitude Journal for Women. BookBolt will suggest the best categories with their competition. For this example, the recommended category is Self-Help, with Journal Writing as the subcategory. Go back to your KDP dashboard and select these categories self-help, and then journal writing as the subcategory. Once you've selected the categories, click Save Categories. Lastly, since journals are considered low-content books, select Low-Content Books in the appropriate section. Next, we need to add crucial keywords to ensure our book ranks well on KDP. To do this, head back to BookBolt and search for the best keywords. For example, the keyword Gratitude Journal for Women has over 18,000 searches on Amazon in the past 30 days, making it an excellent choice. Copy this keyword and paste it into the keyword section on Amazon KDP. Repeat this process for the other keywords, following the same method I showed you. After adding all the relevant keywords, click Save and Continue. All right, on the next page, first select the option Publish without an ISBN. Then, for the print options, choose black and white interior with white paper and make sure this matches the details you have in BookBolt. Next, set the paper dimensions. For my book, the dimensions are 8.5 by 11 inches. Under the bleed setting, select bleed to ensure the design extends to the edges of the page. For the cover finish, choose matte for a professional look. Now, in the manuscript section, upload the interior of your book which you downloaded from BookBolt. This may take a few minutes, so be patient. Once the upload is complete, proceed to upload the book cover. This file should also be on your computer, downloaded from BookBolt. You'll then be asked if the content was generated by AI. Click No, because we did not use AI for this book. To preview your book, click on Launch Previewer. This process might take a few minutes. Once the previewer opens, carefully review your book cover and the interior pages to ensure everything is positioned correctly and looks professional. If everything looks good, click Approve to finalize the layout. In the final step, you'll see the pricing details for printing your book in the US market. Click Save and Continue to proceed. All right, now we're at the final step where you'll set the price for your book. I highly recommend checking similar books on Amazon to see their prices. Based on my research, the average journal book sells for between $14 and $28. As a beginner, it's a good idea to price your book on the lower end. So I'll enter $14 in this section. Here, Amazon will show you how much you can earn per book sold. In this case, I'll earn $5.56 for each book sold which is a solid start. Once you've set your price, scroll down and click Publish Your Book. After you publish, it will take up to 72 hours for Amazon to approve and list your book. One last piece of advice. Don't expect sales overnight. It takes time to see results. The more books you publish, the more opportunities you have to earn. Stay patient and persistent.